All right, gotta check out some new gear. We got this uh, bag here, waterproof bag, uh, with the pass-through for your power. Um, anchor battery, these are awesome. Thousand milliamp hours, um, and the nice thing is it's two amps out, so it can charge the larger tablet-style phones, no problem. Uh, it's completely dead. I discharged it earlier. You can see it doesn't the light. Just kind of faintly blinks. Um, I made sure it was dead before I came out here. And it comes with just a cable and a bag. We're gonna try and charge it with the uh, this hydro turbine. Put some rope, um, some carabiners, and uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna throw this in the river next to me and see how how it does on an overnight charge. So this is the bag. Uh, and you could use this for any kind of charging outside and the neat thing is about this bag is that it's got a uh, wire that is sealed and it goes right inside so you plug your device or whatever you have uh, in from the outside and it should be kept nice and dry on the inside even if it falls in the water. Fold this over. These are a common type of bag for kayakers. That's about it. Can you clip it? It should be waterproof. Definitely rainproof. You can see it's holding all the air in there now. See how this thing is doing. It's been out all night. So still spinning freely. Picked up a few things here, but doesn't really seem to that's slowing it down. Batteries. See if we get any lights turned on. All three lights, so it looks like it's fully charged. Okay, so now the test is. Um, I guess we'll just see how this thing charges uh, up a phone. Like I said, it, it's saying it's fully charged, and uh, I'm going to try testing my um, Samsung Note. Two or three, um, which is one of the big tablet style phones. This thing is really actually hard to charge. Like it won't charge in my car. It needs uh, the high power output. So this guy here should be able to do it. I'm at 58% here now. And if you look at this thing, if I can focus it, um, 
It says output 2 amps, so that should be enough. This phone wants an output of 1.5. Okay, so it says charging. Uh, yeah, 57%. And I'll actually do the real test. Power off the phone. And I'll let you know how it does. Okay, so this has um, been charging for a while now. Let's take my phone up to 88%. And uh, still th showing three bars. It's still showing full. Um, pretty good. So this, this is a nice, this is a pretty slick little battery. And it works well with the turbine. Takeaway from this video really is uh, if you're using any kind of outdoor renewable energy device, a turbine or a panel, um, the trick is to be patient. Um, if you're in the market for one of these, obviously you're doing multi-day treks. Um, and you have a need for it, and if you're only going out overnight, just, just bring one of these. Um, but if you're in there for you know days or weeks, um, the trick is, um, and the value with a turbine like this, is that you can just leave it going overnight and forget about it, and in the morning you'll have a full battery. Uh, you don't need to worry about angling it into the sun or anything like that.